Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are checking out RCS thrusters and hopefully we can throw a tutorial together for you guys today as well. Uh, so yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get off the moon here and let's get to the workbench. All right, here we are back at the workbench. I've had a, quite a few of you ask me actually how RCS thrusters work and honestly, I have had no idea. Uh, I have been working with my team quite a few days here trying to figure out how RCS thrusters work, what their little issues are, what their little bugs are. And I think we've kind of gotten down to the, uh, the nitty gritty of it. We're just gonna jump in here and hopefully you guys can see how these things work. All right, let's get our center of mass back on here. Um, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to build a contraption that we can kind of work off of and maybe learn from. Uh, so let's go ahead and put our mirror mode on here. Uh, and let's see, we're gonna go, let's say, you know what, let's do it like this. Uh, let's undo that. I know that I'm gonna need some tanks. I think for the sake of this experiment, we'll just use the tanks to build with. We'll do something like that. And then let's get a pipe. And this will make sense in just a second. We are going to go for the pipe Omni. We're gonna grab another tank, we're gonna go like that. And we're gonna go like that. Uh, so you can start to see we're starting to build a cube here. And this will all make sense in just a second. Uh, let's put a little block there. We'll put a block there. Let's do the same thing here. Let's do the same thing here. And let's get another Omni pipe. We'll put one on top and we'll put one on the end here. We'll do the same thing. We'll just hook these guys up. We'll hook this one up. We will hook this one up and this one up. Okay, so we'll grab our Omni pipe again, place it on top, and we're pretty much almost done with this. Uh, and you'll see why we're doing this in just a second here. It'll all start to make sense. But essentially, we're just trying to be able to work on all our axis here. Uh, can we rotate around? There we go. And let's get one in there. And we'll get one in there. Perfect. All right, so now we have a cube that we can work off of. Let's see if we can maybe... Oh, no, let's, uh, let's back that up a little bit. Let's go across here. Let's see, come on, across, and we're gonna go up. Uh, I don't wanna go up too far, uh, cause we gotta find our center block there, and we're gonna have a seat. We're just gonna take a regular, regular pilot seat here, if I can grab it. Uh, and we want this to be right in the center there, because that's where we want our center of mass when we sit on there. And our player is about 50 mass, so we wanna make sure that that is actually centered. Uh, so that is done there. Uh, so essentially, we are we are good to go here. Let's go ahead and, we'll, for weight reasons, we'll do this. We'll go ahead and cross it over here. Uh, this will make it even as we're kind of trying to mess around with it. And come on, come on, and there we go. Perfect, so now we have a decent little platform that we can work into. Uh, I could do the sides here and that would probably help the weight out a little bit, but I think we're okay. Uh, just for the sake of this little tutorial, this should work. Okay, let's grab our RCS thrusters. So you're gonna grab the RCS thrusters. Fluid jet that requires pressurized air for altitude control and translation. The reaction control system can fire in four non-cardinal directions resulting in five directions of motion. Uh, yep. Uh, RCS thrusters also have body relative activation modes where thrusters will collaborate from different orientations to achieve desired translation or rotation. The RCS thruster also has positional and rotational st stabilization toggles. All right. So let's just place one down and we're going to go ahead and just, uh, we're just going to plop it down here in the middle so we can go ahead and look at this. Let's go ahead and go to our composite nodes and we're going to hover over this thing. There is a lot in here, guys. And this is why I feel like a lot of you have been really, 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 really confused. Uh, so let's break it down and let's break it up into sections here and maybe you guys can understand it here. So let's look at one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four are going to be component X, positive, negative, and Z, positive, negative. These four composite nodes are going to control the RCS thruster individually. So it really does matter which way you place the arrows and things like that because that's how it is going to control this. Moving on from that, we have five and six, which is gonna be enable position stabilization and enable rotation stabilization. Uh, so this is gonna be like your gyro for your RCS thrusters. That's what this does. Uh, position stabilization is exactly that. It will hold you in the exact position that you are, X, Y, and Z. Uh, rotation stabilization, that's exactly what that sounds like. If you're rotating too much, too fast and you're going out of control, it will stabilize that motion. Now you still will fall. Uh, if there's a gravity on you, you'll still have that reaction pulling down on you. Uh, so that's where the position stabilization comes in. But if you're just trying to keep yourself from over rotating, that's where the rotation stabilization comes in. And we're actually gonna be using that today. So that's something we need to keep looking at. So here's the, here's the, the meat of the RCS thruster. Uh, we're looking at all these body connections. Uh, so we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and 18. All these are body rotations. Uh, so what that means is these RCS thrusters will work together 
to create the motions that you need. Uh, so when this is set, it does not matter which way these RCS thrusters go. You can place them however. Uh, they will all work together with one body on the vehicle. Now with that being said, I do like to keep the arrows in a certain direction to at least keep peace of mind for me understanding what's going on. So usually what I do is I'm gonna place one down. We're gonna have our arrow go. Uh, I'm gonna place it down again, but we're gonna rotate so the arrow goes out and we're gonna do the same thing we can just keep rotating that clockwise so that our arrows just keep the big arrow keeps pointing outwards um it doesn't matter i've tested this several different ways this is just my ocd kicking in and this is how i'm having to do it now i stress 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 do not use mirror mode do not do not do not use any of the mirror modes uh when i've experimented with this it tends to reverse kind of like a monitor all the input settings and all that of the RCS thruster and then you have big big problems and then things won't work and then you're like why are my RCS thrusters not working how do these work this doesn't make sense keep mirror mode off keep it off keep it off keep it off I even recommend try not to use UI or O to flip the things uh, that is also something that I've noticed has some issues that might have been fixed by now uh, with some of the patches but uh, I just recommend just place them as is uh, so we're gonna go around this whole thing and we're just gonna place these uh, on all of these here, like so, like so on that one and on that one. And we'll just continue around to the other side here, do this as well. Uh, so essentially we're gonna get, we're gonna fill it up and we're gonna have all four sides here done and we'll go from there. All right, all our sides are done. Uh, did we do the bottom? I did not do the bottom. Let me finish the bottom. All right, everything is done now. So we've got all of our corners picked here. Now you don't need this many RCS thrusters. Clearly, the backpacks have shown that you need no more than four, and I think four is going to be the minimum that you need. Uh, I've tried it with two, and I noticed that I had some problems with certain axes not having control. Uh, so four is the minimum that you need. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using all of these just so you guys can understand what's going on here. Now, now that we're sitting here, disregard the arrows. Do not look at the arrows. Let's just look at the actual black holes that are sitting on here. Um, so if we were sitting in our chair and we think about this as one of our control corners or control surfaces, um, we can think about uh, this, these two right here, when they activate, they're gonna push down, okay? When these two activate, they're gonna push forward. We come to the side, when these two activate, they're gonna push towards the side that way. And you've got these, they're gonna push backwards. And then you've got the ones underneath, those are gonna push up. So we've covered all directions. We got our X, Y, and Z here with all of these thrusters. Now we could reduce this down. We could go down to say two on each corner. We still have enough to control this cube here uh, with just these two, because we've got our up, we've got our forward, we've got our side to side, we've got our back and we've got down. Uh, but you will start to notice that the larger the vehicle gets, the uh, the more RCS thrusters you're gonna need to control this thing. Uh, they only have so much power and these containers only have so much air in them. Uh, for the sake of the test today, we are actually gonna be using infinite fuel just because these things were gonna run out so quick. So I do recommend that you have some sort of system to pump these things up, keep air into them, have some massive tanks on your spaceship to be able to utilize these. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's grab ourselves a microcontroller and start building here. Uh, what nodes are we gonna need? Uh, for one, we're gonna need one of them's gonna have to be composite. All right, so let's go in here. Let's change this up a little bit. We'll just call this RCS. We'll just name both of them here, RCS. And I've got some stuff in here I need to delete. All right, so we're starting with a fresh microcontroller here. Let's go ahead and put a composite in it. And this is gonna be from our seat. And it's all these signals are gonna be the ones that go out and go into our microcontroller. Uh, we're gonna need one, a composite that comes out, the output, so this will be our RCS. And I think that's all we need for right now. We could, we could add some little bit of nodes here in a, in a little bit. Let's go ahead and spread this stuff out here. Uh, so let's get kind of organized here. All right, so we've got our seat. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna start wanting to read the numbers off of our seat. So we're gonna need a composite read, composite read. There we go, composite read number. We're gonna need four of these. So we're gonna go ahead and plop those down like so. And this is just for our seat controls. So we're gonna come in, we'll hook up these guys like so. We're just gonna relabel these one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And this is just our ADWS left, right, up, down. Uh, from there, this is where it gets a little tricky. So we're gonna grab ourselves a threshold and I'm gonna put a couple thresholds down here. I'll do some like that. Actually, let's do this. This will be easier. We can just do it once. So this is gonna be, I think 0.1. 
and this can be one and then the, for this this will be one and now this is negative one and negative point one all right i think that's good uh let's copy and paste this and before you guys get too scared i will leave a microcontroller on the workshop for you guys and this example so you guys can play with it and uh actually use it and try to understand what's going on but we will we will go through this and uh actually put this together today as well all right so that works so from the bottom one our up down we can go ahead and put into this threshold and from our left right we can go ahead and put into our threshold now the reason that we're doing this different from the other ones is the way we're going to do our left right and our up down is they are going to stay our collective and our y'all at all times uh we have the the up down left right buttons uh that's what most people are used to when we do helicopters and that's how i'm going to be building this thing today our a and d and our w and s are going to act like helicopter controls so our w and s will be pitch and our a and d will be our roll of the vehicle but we're going to put a switch in here allowing us to change the directions of that roll and that that pitch uh, we're going to go into what we're going to call strafe mode so then instead of pitching forward and rolling left and right we will be strafing left and right and forwards and backwards with ws and a and d uh, so you'll have all kinds of different ways to control your vehicle and move it around uh, so these guys here are done let's bring those down uh, i'm going to need to copy this so we're going to copy paste we're going to bring that up and we're going to do that one more time like so from here i want to get a junction box and i'm just going to put a junction here and a junction here uh, and this is going to allow us to switch between these two controls as we start doing this uh, so we're just going to hook these guys up like so we're going to do the same thing to the top here and we'll just hook these guys up like that perfect we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere so now this is going to be our switch signal so we can come back here we can add a button here and we will call this one strafe we can come back to our controls here we'll do this we could take this strafe button and we will hook it up into our signal switch here and now that's going to turn on our strafe abilities left and right and forwards and backs uh we can move this over now in line with all of this we make this a lot neater let's do that now we're getting a little neater here all right from there we are going to need a composite right so we're going to drop one down we're going to come over here we want to start on channel what did i say channel seven and I think we need 12 channel counts. Uh, let's see. How many do we have here? One, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. Okay, perfect. We're getting somewhere. Now, this is where it gets really confusing. Uh, so we can go ahead and we can send this to the RCS here. Uh, now we're going to have to come back. And we're going to have to read that RCS thruster and figure out what all of these are. So just so we can understand this, we're gonna, we've got a lot of connections here. Uh, 7 and 8 is going to be our X plus and X minus. 9 and 10 is going to be y plus and y minus 11 and 12 is going to be z plus and z minus and these are all of our strafe controls uh from 13 14 that's gonna be x plus and x minus 15 and 16 is y plus y minus and 17 and 18 is z plus z minus and those are our rotates so it's just split right down the middle and that's that's pretty easy to do uh so let's go ahead and let's talk about what this is uh so i'm gonna put a graphic up here on the uh the screen here all right, so to understand how to hook this up, uh, if you look at the graphic on the screen, uh, we've got the three arrows that we're used to seeing in our build zone, uh, the blue, green, and red, and those are representative of our Z, Y, and X axis. Z being blue, Y being green, and X being red. Uh, so if you can remember that, that's how we can remember to hook this up. Uh, I'll put another graphic up. You can actually see the forward arrow that we're used to building with. So forward is going to be our Z, and if you remember that, then things should be pretty easy to hook things up here. Uh, so let's jump back into hooking things up. We're going to start with our easy ones first. So we're just going to start at the bottom here. And this is our up and down that we're going to be connecting here. And we're going to be taking these all the way up to the top here. So we got seven, eight. We're going to go nine and 10 with these guys. Nine and 10. And that puts us on. So this is up and down on the Y axis. And it's just going to do this all the time. So no matter what switch we do, it's always going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. So our left and right is going to come down to these guys down here. And then this is the 18, 17, 16, and 15. This is our Y plus and our Y minus. Uh, and this is rotation on that axis. So we've got up and down on Y and we've got rotation on Y. Okay. So now let's move over to the next set here. We've got A and D that are going to be working on. Now A and D is a little different because A and D controls our roll, but we also want it to strafe left and right. Does that make sense? So for the first set, we're gonna grab, we're gonna go right here onto C7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And that's our strafe mode. 
And then the next two will be 13 and 14. That is our roll mode. Uh, so the division line is right here. Everything above my mouse here is going to be strafe and then the rest is roll. Uh, so we don't have that much more to hook up here. Uh, what do we got left? We've got our, our pitch here. So the top ones here are gonna go to our strafe, our seven and eight. And then the ones we have left is all the way down here at the bottom, 17 and 18. And that covers all of our axes for up and down and for strafe movement and for rolling movement on those axes. Now we still are missing some things here. We need to bring this up. We need to connect this to here and we need to connect this to here. But I think as is, that's everything that we need here. So let's go back to our microcontroller here. Let's clean this up a little bit. We can make this a little smaller. That looks good. You know what? We can even make this longer and bring this down and then make this even shorter. There we go. Perfect. Looks good. Uh, let's update this and let's see if we can hook this up and get this working right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our node here and we're gonna connect every single one of our RCS thrusters up with it. Uh, should be easy enough here. And we'll do that, 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 that. All these, all these get hooked up. And remember I said you don't need all of these, but because of the shape of this thing, it's gonna make things a little bit more even. And I think that's everything. Let's hover, that is everything. Let's go ahead and grab our seat to there. Uh, and we need to grab a button from our seat. We'll just grab hotkey one. Let's come down here and label it. Hotkey one will be strafe. And I think we're pretty good there. Uh, now there are some adjustments here that you can do to the, uh, the thrusters. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything is as right now. Uh, the one thing that I do mess with every now and then is the power slider. Sometimes you just get a little bit more thrust than you want to. So this is how you would balance that out. The stabilization thresholds kind of like messing with your gyro. I haven't messed with it too much. Uh, I haven't had to, uh, but if you need to, that's kind of what that adjustments there are for. Uh, let's spawn this in. Okay. Clearly something is going on here. All right, so what is going on here? Why are they firing automatically every single time? Uh, so yeah, that's new. Um, we've created some sort of art piece here, which is really cool. Um, yeah, uh, why is it doing this? Why are you doing this to me, game? Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. I think I know what I did wrong here. Uh, let's, where is everything? Uh, it's as simple as coming in here and putting a minus on the right side of these things. So minus one, minus one. Yeah, I messed up. I did this to all these instead. Uh, let me fix all these. All right, let's try that. Okay, that's a lot better result there. Um, things aren't going crazy here. Uh, so let's hop in the seat. Uh, let's do a little zoom out here so we can see what's going on. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I remember what's happening here. Okay, let's, okay, let's hop off. Um, if that's a problem, you come here over to the seat and you want to come over here and you want to take all of these all the way up. Uh, taking the sensitivity all the way up on these acts more like a quick little toggle, like a little push toggle. So that's going to help us here with these controls. Uh, so hopefully we just get a little bit of a pssst every time we hit the button there. There we go. Yep. Okay. So we've got, there we go. We got pitch. You can see where we're going to, we're going to do our pitch forward. We can roll like a cube. All right. Oops. Okay. We're on our sides here. Let's see if we can roll over. Yep. Okay. We've got roll. Okay. Let's see if we can flip back over. All right. Do we have up? We've got up. We've got down. We've got yaw. Okay. Uh, let's try strafe mode. So there's forwards. Oh, 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 okay. That would be backwards. And then we have, let's see. Oh, I flipped it around here. Hang on. Uh, we need to go left and then that would be right, right strafe. Okay. So all, all the movements are there. Awesome. Uh, we've, we've, we've done it. Uh, we can take this one step further though. Let's put some stabilization into this thing. All right. So let's come to our microcontroller. We're going to go to the design portion. We're gonna make this a little longer. We're gonna add two more nodes here. One's gonna, we're gonna call one rot for rotation. And the other one is going to be POS for position. Let's come over here to our logic. Let's spread this out. For this, I'm gonna grab another composite, right? Uh, you could you could add it into the system here, but I don't wanna change things up. Uh, I don't wanna have to change my numbers around. So I'm gonna do it this way and it's gonna make things easier. Uh, so from here, we're gonna want to start on channel five because that's our rotation and our stabilization. And we want two channels. So we'll just bring that up, we'll bring position and rotation into that. And then we'll just drag uh, that straight in like that. That should uh, that should work. Let's update and hook up. So two will be our POS, three will be our rotation. The so POS and rotation. All right, let's see if that stabilizes this thing at all. And we'll, uh, let's see, we'll see how, how, how the difference is here. Okay, so we've got crazy rotation here. We can see we can just kind of throw it around all over the place. Let's try 
We're going to hit three. Let's see if we can get back up on our sides here. There we go. I've got rotation control on. As I try to move around, you can see it is trying to hold that position for me. Can I get out of this corner here? There we go. So no matter what I do, it's a little bit more stable to fly. You know what? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We're going over to, uh, we're going to go to an open area here. All right. Over the train yard. Now you guys should be able to see how this works. Okay. So I'm just going to go do get some up collective here. Get into the air. Oh, okay. See, we're all over the place. Nothing's helping us stabilize. Now let's do rotation stabilization. You can see that it does constantly move. So you will be burning more gas, but you can see I'm a lot more stable in how I fly. Uh, now, if we were to go to position hold, I just hit position hold and we are not falling. We are not doing anything. We are just holding that position. Uh, if you were to take rotation control off, you could sit here and spin in that spot, but it will hold that position still. Uh, so yeah, guys, there is an RCS control thruster for you. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Uh, I have struggled all week to try to figure out how to get these things working. And yeah, now we have a way to get these things working. So I will leave this uh, on the workshop for you guys and you guys will be able to use this. And yeah, hopefully it'll help you out. Hopefully you can make some cool builds. Hopefully you can throw this on your rockets and actually get to the moon and uh, maybe make a lander. Uh, I feel like that's where everyone's struggling to uh, make landers right now is we're all waiting to learn how to make these RCS thrusters work. So, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Uh, I hope this helped out. I hope this helps you out a lot. Uh, if this tutorial did help you out, make sure you throw a like on this video. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure you share it with somebody because there's a lot of people out there that need to know how these work. Uh, and, yeah, guys, if you keep suggesting them, I'll keep trying to make them as long as I can figure out an easy way to make it for you guys. And, yeah, see you later.